Oh hey, I didn't see you there. So a while back, I made a game called Dave's Epic Level Editor, and yeah, I know, great name, but uh, it sucks, and there's not a lot you can do in it. So let's add more stuff, yeah, that'll fix it. Alright, so currently this is the game. 23 items, 4 themes, some buttons, and Dave. So how can we improve upon this? Well, simple actually, how does one improve upon anything? Narco- More content. So after wringing out my brain for ideas, I- Just kidding, you thought I have a brain? No dummy, I lost it in the war. I just stole ideas from my YouTube comments again, yeah, sue me. The first idea comes from not an alt account, I swear, 381, who writes, You gotta add a one-up, my life depends on it. Okay, first of all, that sounds like a you problem, and second, wow, what a great idea, let's do that. But what to make it? Well, Mario has mushrooms, Sonic has... I don't know, I never got that far, and Kirby just has a smaller version of Kirby. Those all suck, so I made it a boat. Yeah, take that, mom. Now one might ask, why a boat? Our next idea comes from Boob... Blub, blub, however you pronounce that, who writes, Hey, you should make a factory theme. I bet it'd really benefit the economy. Wow, what a terrible idea. But you know me, I'll do anything for the economy. So I made the tile set, who cares? And now it's time for music. And I've made this cool little track, which I think sounds pretty good. This sounds like ass. So, so I made it better, and I hope it sounds better. It still sounds like ass. <laughs> Okay, so now that we have the factory, we need some hazards to put in it. And what do they usually have in factories? Well, not, not conveyor belts, I'll tell you that much. So I went ahead and added conveyor belts to the game, and I'll admit, I used a slightly hacky solution to make them work, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's just go to the next suggestion. Mr. Beast writes, Make a power-up that makes Dave go like, <laughs> I interpreted this as meaning I should add a dash power up. So, uh. And now you can to your heart's content. But hold on! Look at the calendar. It's October. That's scary. So I think it's appropriate to make a ghost house theme. So, you know, I did just that, and I think it's looking pretty good. What is that? Meet the Sneaper. This is the ghost enemy of the game based off of this image I got sent by this guy. Seems about right. Now the sneaker can also- is that a frying pan? <laughs> what? What is this place? Guess- guess I'll look around. Wow, this place sure is weird. <laughs> Um, hi. Nice weather we're having, right? Not much of a talker, are you? Anyways, where exactly are we? Wait, no, 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 no! It was a dream! Anyways, let's get back to work. So the final thing I want to add in this update is some sort of invincibility thing. But what should we make it? Maybe a rainbow, or a gemstone, or maybe holy shit. And yep. Here we go. Now at this point, I was pretty much done with the project and was gonna start with my next one, but then I checked my emails. Holy shit! Devs on Display, for those who don't know, is a kinda Nintendo Direct type presentation for indie games hosted by my good buddy Lactose. And I wanted in. But there was one problem. For my game to be featured, I needed to announce something new, and at this point all the stuff I had added was already out. So we have one month to add as much as possible. Now I have a lot of ideas I want to add, but first I'd like to polish the game up a bit. And what better place to start than with Dave over here. Our little friend is looking pretty stiff. And if there's one thing I won't stand for, it's things looking stiff. But no worry, as this can be easily fixed through the means of squash and stretch. For those who don't know what that is, it's exactly what it sounds like. You basically just take a character and... So I wrote some code that should do just that, and uh, let's check out how that God is real, right? But not to worry, I did get it working, and yeah, that looks better. 
Now for some new items. I came up with this never before seen object, which isn't based off of anything, what do you mean? Next in line, I added some blocks that appear and disappear and beat to the music, which is really easy actually, just, just look how easy it was. Okay, so, look, I've been at this for a good s four hours now, it's, look, it's not, it's not working, I, I, I did all, I did all of it all, I, I, I did it right, I, I don't, I, I, I think, I don't, why is it not working, what, are, what are you doing, why is it doing this, stop, boy howdy, what a fun time that was, Anyways, next I added some more cannons, one which you can jump off of, and one which shoots a homing missile at you, which is really annoying by the way, so you know, <laughs> don't hurt me please. Now a common thing people have been requesting is a boss enemy, so I made and coded this whole ass box, but then decided, no this is stupid, and threw it away. So I tried again and came up with this guy, let's call him Phil Carr. But uh oh, looks like someone is suffering from male pattern baldness, so here's a hat. Next I got him into the game, played tea time with my keyboard, and let's check it out. Where's he hiding at? Where's our little scamp? Ah! Next up, I made a moving platform. It's yellow, it moves, not a lot going on here, but it, it's got a good personality, trust me. And just like that, we have one row of items left to add. Hey, you know how Mario Maker has those wacky effects? Guess what I did? It's just some sound effects, some music, and some filters. Why yes, I hate stable frame rates too, how could you tell? Every good game has achievements, that is the truth and also the law, so I added 18 in total. What do they do? How do you unlock them? I'm After that I added some more menu stuff, you know, more settings, a wacky little manual, a screen explaining how the game was made and a music player. I'm actually really happy with how this turned out, sure it would be a shame if it were to blow up. I wonder what this button does. So yeah, I made the trailer and submitted it and it ended up going pretty well actually. <laughs> V2 is playable right now with a link below and I also should have a little hotfix done which fixes some bugs and might add some small things. I don't know, you're gonna, you're gonna have to find out. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching and uh, please like and subscribe. Is that a train? Hold on. Mario Brothers.